Hey folks, it's Chris here with Expedition Sim. I'm joined with the guys from Simply. I've got Max and Krill here. Uh, we're going to find out a little bit about what they do. Uh, tell us a little bit. What, what is Simply? What do you do? So Simply is a collaboration platform for designers and developers, and we call it a complete collaboration platform because we cover all the steps uh, in design and development co co team collaboration, starting from design handoff to design implementation in the apps and the websites. Okay. So if I'm a uh, developer today, a web developer, and I, I have this idea, I want to make my website into an application, and I need to hand things over to a team, or I've developed a, a pretty interface, a nice UX for, for people that, uh, to interact with, what's the challenge of making that interactive in a, in a, um, a mobile sense? Uh, I would rather say like the challenge is not more much about interaction, but it's more about communication between two teams, like design and development teams. And design handoff could be a really messy process because it's very vulnerable to the human uh, errors and uh, it usually introduces a lot of manual and routine actions from designers and uh, simply takes care of that. It automates creation of the visual specification generations of the assets in both vector and bitmap formats and handoff process. So it's like easy sharing process with the development team. So you don't have to spend time on the back and forth communications on this very final stage of the app development. Okay, so uh, as a designer who's developing the, the front end, the UX, um, I, I'm able to easily tell somebody, here's where the interactive elements are, here's what actually... You, you would be able to easily tell development, like, here how it should look like, and here how it looks like in the platform specific terms for you. So it's like we are kind of translating from design terms into the app developers terms, because we, don't, we app developers don't speak in pixels, we speak in points and density independent pixels, and like many, many, many nuances like that. So, so we're getting everybody on the same language. <laughs> exactly. So you ha you, it looks like you have it up here on, this, on the screen. Do you mind uh, kind of walk us through a little bit? <clears throat> so, Here's the thing, like I'm, uh, we work with Photoshop and Sketch, and uh, I'm gonna s show it to you on uh, Sketch. So to export the designs from Sketch, all designers need to do is just to press a sh shortcut, keyboard shortcut, and hit enter. And meanwhile, uh, simply collects all the meta information from the design, uh, generates assets, scale them up and down, and uploads everything to our cloud, where developers can access the designs through our web app and get all the required details about every single design element they need to implement it properly in their app or website. Or they can go and use our, develop, our extensions for Android Studio and Xcode, which provide a very convenient uh, tools for syn synchronizing graphic assets into the projects uh, with dynamic names remapping, like because, so you don't have to spend time uh, setting up uh, naming conventions for the graphic assets with your design team. And it works with uh, bitmap assets and vector assets. We automatically convert SVGs into vector drawables for Android. Uh, we provide uh, an extension for the auto-completion. So it's contextual auto-completion uh, when you edit layout files in Android. So we will prompt you with the corresponding values from the design element. Like it works for dimensions, for text values, for colors, and stuff like that. But what and uh, as soon as uh, Google folks will release a visual layout editor for Android Studio, which we expect will happen uh, during Google I.O., uh, we're going to integrate with a visual layout editor. So it's going to look a little bit more like it looks now for Xcode. Hold on for a second. Our Xcode integration is pretty awesome. Uh, aside from all the browsing capabilities. So let's say that this is my wireframed app. <coughs> So this label is my just unstyled label. I can select the element in the design browser and click apply. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on. It's just white. Um, hold on. One more time. And, and folks, so you can see we're actually building an app from scratch right now. So here is the wireframed uh, app. And I select the element in the design and click apply all and it applies all the visual styling, uh, which includes like size, uh, position, font style, font size, uh, dynamic ef runtime effects uh, that are applied to the views in the runtime. So to style it manually, it, it would take for me like 
couple, probably five minutes, and I did this in one click. And this is like a very annoying routine job that developers hate to do. And we do not introduce any third-party dependencies, and we, and we do not force developers into using some kind of like frameworks or whatever. You don't have to change your uh, process at all. We just help you to save time on the routine actions. Um, also, we provide same uh, features for merging assets into the iOS project. And unlike an Android Studio, we also have additional feature for our Xcode developers that helps them uh, building custom views based on the vector data from the design. So we generate foundation for the custom views that can be drawn, uh, can be uh, actually built dynamically through the code. And we provide a very convenient way to run this generated code in the playground so it can be debugged and uh, polished to the perfection and then used in, in the project. So again, so it saves a lot of time and uh, it's very convenient for developers. And of course, we also have like all um, collaboration capabilities. So you can chat with a developer right from Xcode without switching context, which is very handy and like awesome. Now, I, I hear some uh, European accents. Are you guys based in Europe? Are you here? Uh, no, we are based uh, in Washington, DC. Okay. But yeah, originally I'm from Russia. And then um, uh, being out here, are you also, besides uh, uh, int introducing um, simply to, to the developer community, are you also hiring developers or are, are you, how's your growth? And uh, currently we are not hiring, we are pretty stuffed. Uh, but yeah, so we are here for, for introducing the product. And we are going live actually on Monday. So we are in the public beta right now and we are lo launching the commercial subscriptions on Monday. And so um, you say commercial subscription, so we're sub subscription based? Uh. Exactly. exactly. So it's based on the number of the active projects uh, and uh, with unlimited collaborators. And it means that for your team, using Simply will cost you like either 15, 25, or 100 bucks per month per team, which is like very affordable, I think. Right. Team might be different sizes, so it depends only on active projects, not on the team size, so it's easy to use. Quick remark. So it's simply s y m p l i dot i l. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Go download it. And if you are are a uh, developer of any kind, uh, check these guys out. Thanks again. Thank you.